In this video, we will talk about epidemiology. Epidemiology is the study of the distribution and determinants of health-related states and events in specified populations. It is also the application of the study to diseases and other factors relating to health. In other words, epidemiology studies how diseases affect the health and illness of populations, identifies risk factors for disease, and suggests best treatment methods in clinical practice. The key to epidemiological analysis is to compare individuals or populations. For examples, we have two groups, those that are exposed to a risk factor in red and those that are not in blue. Researchers will observe how many individuals develop a disease and how many do not. In the table, we see that more individuals that were exposed to the risk factor develop the disease, while more individuals that were not exposed did not develop the disease. Now let's look at the typical examples of epidemiological studies. There are two main types of research designs, experimental and observational. In experimental research, the researchers determine and control the exposure for each individual or community, and then track the individuals or communities over time to detect the effects of the exposure. In observational research, the researchers collect data on what is observed. They do not control any variables. A common experimental design is the randomized control trial, also referred to as RCT. In this design, participants are allocated at random to the intervention group or the control group. They're monitored and their outcomes are measured. Here are some research designs for observational research studies. In a cohort study, the researchers record whether each study participant is exposed or not, and then track them to see if they develop the disease that is being studied. The participants are enrolled at the beginning of the study and are followed over time to see if the disease develops or after both the exposure and the outcomes have occurred. In a case control study, two groups of people are observed, those with the disease referred to as the cases and those without the disease referred to as the controls. Researchers then compare the two groups looking for exposures to different factors. In a cross-sectional study, a sample of people from a population is enrolled. Then their exposures and health outcomes are measured simultaneously at a specific point in time. In an ecological study, researchers study a population or a community as a whole rather than the individual members. In this case, disease rates and their determinants are measured for each population or community, and their relationship is examined. Populations can be defined in several ways, for example, geographically. You can find more information on research literacy on our website, Understanding Research. This initiative is a work in progress and we want to hear from you. Thank you for watching.